In the previous video, we created a Lewis structure for the sulfate ion, where we exceeded the octet rule for sulfur by utilizing empty d orbitals, which allowed us to minimize the separation of formal charge. In this Lewis structure, these two oxygens have a formal charge of minus 1, while the doubly bonded oxygens have no formal charge. If this were an accurate representation of the sulfate ion, we would predict the sulfate ion to be polar with the negative charge concentrated on one side and no charge on the other. However, experiments show that the sulfate ion is nonpolar and that the minus charge is distributed equally over all four oxygens. This means that there was no particular reason for placing the double bonds here. We could have drawn other possible resonance forms in which the double bond was in different locations. A resonance structure is a Lewis structure in which the framework and the charge remains the same, but the position of the double bonds and unshared pairs differ. We can take this double bond and move it up to here. The singly bonded oxygen would have three unshared pairs of electrons and a formal charge of negative one. Doubly bonded oxygens would have two unshared pairs and formal charge of zero. With two double bonds to place in four possible locations, there are a total of six different ways to draw the Lewis structure of the sulfate ion. We will quickly draw the remaining resonance forms by drawing in the frameworks first. Each Lewis structure will be enclosed in brackets and have a charge of minus 2. Sulfur in the center connected to four oxygens. go back and place the double bonds. We then complete the octet for each atom and label each with its formal charge where appropriate. Singly bonded oxygens with three unshared pairs have a formal charge of minus one. Doubly bonded oxygens have two unshared pairs and no formal charge. So the question says, draw the Lewis structure for the sulfate ion. The word the can be misleading. Sometimes the Lewis structure is actually an average of multiple resonance structures. 
With the process for creating a Lewis structure, it's impossible to use one to completely represent where the charge is on the oxygen. There is no actual double bond or no actual single bond between sulfur and oxygen. It's an average of all possible resonance forms. And so what we see is if we look at, at a particular sulfur-oxygen bond, we have a double, a single, a single, a double, a double, and a single. In the six different resonance forms that we can draw, there are equal number of double bonded versions as there are single bonded versions. Therefore, the bond between each sulfur and oxygen is best represented as a bond and a half. And again, looking at the formal charges, this oxygen has no formal charge in this Lewis structure. Here it has a minus one, a minus one, a zero, a zero, and a minus one. There are three instances where the formal charge on this oxygen is zero, and three instances where the formal charge is minus one. The best representation of the sulfate ion would include perhaps a description where the oxygen was not a minus one on each, but rather a minus a half or an extra half electron distributed out over each oxygen, which again would correspond to rather than a double or a single, effectively a bond and a half between each sulfur and oxygen. So the Lewis structure is an average or a hybrid of all six resonance contributors.